More than 12 million people tuned in to watch the women's college basketball Elite Eight matchup between LSU and Iowa on Monday. Now, today, that excitement continued for the women's Final Four. Our Amanda Harry spoke with fans about the renewed enthusiasm for women's sports. The athletic club here in Oakland is packed with fans ready for game day. And you may think, looking at them, that this is for professional basketball, professional football, but these fans are here supporting women's college basketball. And enjoy the vibes and cheer on girls and women's um, basketball. Fans started showing up early to make sure they got a seat to watch some of the best college basketball players in the NCAA right now. And those players are women. Caitlin Clark is obviously in that game. Um, she's obviously the one name that I think people are hearing the most right now. Um, Paige Bukers is also in that game too, and so I'm pretty excited about that. Clark has the most points scored in a career by any NCAA basketball player ever, including both women and men. The characters in the women's game have brought more attention to the sport. It shows that um, women's sports can have as much of a following as men's sports and that we give good um, like performances as well. And there's a lot to learn from women's sports and women players and they deserve the recognition. Laura Alvarez says she's followed women's sports her whole life and she grew up playing both basketball and soccer. But because women's sports were not in the spotlight like men's, she didn't think it was a potential career path. She says if she was growing up now, things may have been different. I think I, maybe I would have taken it a little more seriously and like actually been able to um, dream bigger in terms of like the sports and to continue with it. Masha Ashabi believes it's long overdue that women's sports are getting this level of attention and she's hoping the results carry into more long-term changes. A few years ago there was like a comparison of like the gym that the women basketball players were training in versus the men's and that got a lot of attention. Um, and I think it's a really good representation. Like, it's not like they're working less hard. They just don't have the resources. They don't have the people who are investing them as much. And I think providing that opportunity continuously for women, just in general, not just in sports, is what not only helps them, but helps everybody. According to ESPN's parent company, Disney, the average women's NCAA tournament games ratings are up 127 percent from last year's tournament. Alvarez says she believes the momentum will continue. Showing that people do show up for women's sports. The women's championship game will be on Sunday and everyone I spoke to said they'll be tuning into that as well.